Welcome back, Random TV Reviews. Your girl, Lynette. And it's your boy, mm -hmm. Stanley. All right, before we get into this, we hope everyone had a great Valentine's yeah, Day. Yeah, man, yeah. Um, we did watch it on yesterday, but we did not have time to record it before we had to head to our destination. So, therefore, you're getting it a day late. Yeah. But let's go ahead and get into your honor list. And I just want to thank you all that have been rocking with us yeah, through this man. series. A lot of you all only have watched it because we recommended it. And y'all were like, listen, this is good as yeah. hell. So we thank y'all that y'all take what we say and y'all run with it. And y'all be like, because y'all ain't going to steer us wrong. I ain't got time to waste time. Well, try not to stay time. wrong anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you over here, you pretty much would like the same skit that we like. Yeah. So let's get into your honor. And first of all, let me go ahead and say this. Now seeing it, I can see why it's the finale. Yeah. Like, they left yeah. it where they don't ever have to they pick have this to no show up seasons. again. Yeah, they don't have but to. But if they do, it's going to be the... freaking bomb. Yeah. Which so, I hope they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, whoever at Showtime, whatever, uh, renew season two. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we, we definitely, yeah. we, you can go so many directions with this. Yeah, you can. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. We may not talk about everything. We might touch on some things and not the others, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this. Yeah. So remember all last week that Adam had to take his tail over there to the Baxter Hotel to meet Jimmy and, you know, be officially introduced to the family. Yeah. So this week, no one knows where Adam is. So, of course, his dad, Judge Michael, is like, oh, they, they don't got my son. They don't got my son. But come to find out that grandma don't told Adam that you get your hoish ways from your mama. <laughs> That's pretty much what she yeah. said in so many words. <laughs> Look, the reason that you right here can't keep your stuff to yourself, yeah. you fucking teachers and all of this, and now messing around with the girl, uh, the brother Mama that you, that you don't kill. You yeah. got all that bull skit from your mama. Your mama's a hoe you are too. <laughs> so now he don't know how to take it. Like he, he cannot process the fact that, wait a minute. So my mama was down at the lower ninth cheating on my daddy. Yeah. And that's why she's dead today. Like how can you, that is a lot to unpack. <laughs> oh yeah. That's a lot process. of process. Yeah. So eventually he came home and, um, before that judge, Michael had a conversation with the mother-in-law and was like, how dare you? tell him something like that like at this point she doesn't have an opportunity to redeem herself with her son why don't you just let why couldn't you have just let that be what it is i've processed it my way but let adam just have that of his mom that she was perfect and that's the problem yep and grandma was yep. like mm, that's that's but she, did, she didn't really challenge him on it because because you know judge michael got a way of freaking manipulating he can oh freaking talk God. his way out of any guy throwing things, so I got I can definitely appreciate that about him. But that's that's what's wrong with a lot of us today, is because our we don't parents, know the real. yeah, our parents hid a lot of stuff from us, and then when it hits us, they judge you, yeah, <laughs> and they expect for you to to yeah. respond in a way that they want you to respond, but in a way that they didn't respond. Exactly, it's you, it's so weird. And you said they'd be like, but you got fifteen kids by fifteen different men, and now you'll be judging judging her? me, yeah. Now all of a sudden you in church. And now oh, all of a sudden, I'm, yeah, that's a, whole, that's, that's a whole thing. <laughs> now all of a sudden, I'm going to hell because I'm living the lifestyle that you used to live. Uh -huh. That you hear from me. But we ain't going to that. We ain't, we, ain't, we ain't going on that rabbit hole. <laughs> so Judge Michael had an opportunity to talk to Adam about it because Adam was really upset about it. And he was like, listen, sometimes things aren't lies. We just don't tell it to you so that you'll be okay with what the truth really is or what the truth is. Hmm. So they got over that and whatever. So now we're on like the we're on like the final. I think it's the final day of the trial of Carlo Braxton, yeah. um, Baxter. So of course you know we have this this pre rehearsed um, testimony that he's gonna give of why he killed Kofi Jones and how he felt like he was scared for his life and whatever. All of that would have worked if you did not have Lawyer Bay Lee. And Nancy, yeah, fact checking every all freaking thing. that skit. Yep, yeah, like you can't just just blurt something out and expect them to take it and manipulate the jury to do so. Well, <laughs> um, <laughs> so Ocalo got up there and he gave this testimony about how you know Kofi was, came into the cell. Yeah, he was terrified. And he locked the door behind hmm. himself. He closed the door behind himself. 
you know, he squares his balls and mm -hmm. it was a lot. He was like, the only thing that I could do from not blacking out and dying was to Just bash his head. head against the wall. And I kind of clicked off. It was self-defense. And then after it was said and done, he left up out of the, he walked out the cell. Lee was in the, was I, like, I was kind of like, what? I kind of was thrown back from it too. Cause I was like, we Don't saw what, the tape. Yeah, we saw the tape, and then we know also from watching, you know, I ain't never been to prison, but I don't watch prison shows that when they sh shut the prison doors, they lock. Exactly. By themselves. So, so I'm like, how did he walk back out? So, Lee went over there to the, to the jail, and she tested that for herself. And she locked herself into the cell and couldn't get out. So, of course, that was brought back into the court system. Mm -hmm. And now you have Carlo ba Baxter on there looking like a liar, to the jury and all that stuff. So now Judge Michael knows that he has to pull another rabbit out of his A. Yep. Because right now, that's the sealed oh. deal. Oh, he going to jail at this point. Yeah, and, <laughs> and Lawyer Bay, she was like, you know what? I'll step away from this case, but not before I roll this footage right here. And she rolled the footage of Kofi Jones going into that cell, not nail now. cell closed behind him, yep. no door closed behind him, and how he walked out, passed out, and died. So everything that you said was a freaking lie. Yeah. And I was like, new day. I was like, you know what? That's it. That's it. Carlo, that's Carlo is going to prison. Yeah. That's it. Right there. Nail in the coffin. And before that, Lee had went over there and had a conversation with Big Mo. So now she's learning that, okay, what is going on with the guy that I'm in love with? Because some may add up, but she's still thinking that it's him that, you know, killed um Kofi. I mean um killed um Rocker. Yeah. <laughs> Big Mo said, listen, I'm not about to give you all the information you need, but I'm going to give you the information that you need, need. That car was stolen a day after the murder was done. Yep. So take that for whatever you want to yeah. take it for. And then we have Nancy. She piecing things together too. Nancy done went over there to the cemetery because you remember that Adam and Judge Michael did a backtrack yeah. of all their steps but a day later, so that if anybody ever questioned where they were, they would kind of get the date. They said it was, yeah. But what they didn't realize is that this guy was a war veteran. Yep. And that day was so significant to him that he would never forget that day. Exactly. And so he told Nancy, he was like, no, they weren't here on that day. They were here a day later. Exactly. So Nancy was like, okay, oh, they hmm. setting up something here yep. or whatever. So, over there at the court, a whole lot of stuff still going on. Like I said, Judge Michael got to figure out a way to throw this jury. Because the evidence, facts, all being laid out. Yep. They took and they would not let Eugene get on the witness stand because Eugene was about to tell it all. He was like, nope, not going to have him do that. I yeah, Eugene like, would definitely have been the nail in the coffin because he would have brought up the fact that the judge came to his house that morning of, you remember? Yeah. 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 Which doesn't really prove anything. But. Yeah, yeah, true. But he was there, so. But he was there for a good reason. That yeah, For true, that time true. he was for a good reason. But, so, blah, 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 what I was going to say. Um, blah, 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 blah. Eugene? Oh, so Judge Michael, what he decided to do was to go into the jury box Jewelry box. So I'm like saying jewelry box. But um, go into the jury box and pull out a piece of paper, write it with his left hand. Yeah. And pretty much um, leave a note for Carlo Baxter's lawyer to get it the next morning. And pretty much, we don't know what it said because it never showed us. Yeah. But pretty much what we know it's saying is like, you need to show such and such. Do this, do that, do that. And that way, the jury be thrown off. And I said, I hope this skit doesn't work. <laughs> it worked. Yeah. So now we got Carlo Baxter that don't got off with the murder of Kofi Jones. And I mean, he's well, got I mean, free. I already knew really he was going to get off. I did Yeah. Too. I mean, you could kind of kind of oh. tell by the way things were stacking up. Oh, it's like the it's like the um, Donald Trump thing. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Yeah, and walk away. The evidence be right there. Yep. But And you can actually say you did it. And you can say you did it. And still get off. And still get off. That's that's the, the you judicial the, system in this United States. It don't make a difference, man. You have the digital footprint of evidence. Yep. And you still get off. So so this right here, this won't nothing but the Donald Trump thing. Exactly. All over again. Like it, that happened and, Saturday, this happened Sunday. And, and then what pissed me off is that Kofi was able to go through locked doors 
to get all the way to this guy's cell and none of that came up in the trial. None of it came up. None yeah. of it. Like how so did this did. how did this boy get there? So whoever helped him should have been there too. Absolutely. Exactly. <laughs> so yeah, what the hell was I saying? Um but, 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 And of course oh, we yeah. knew uh and of course we knew that the Baxter wasn't gonna let the judge just get away of getting his son off without Doing a, a so called eye for an eye for a tooth for a tooth because outside the courtroom, I agree. Said that's yeah, where I go. I knew he was going there, so go ahead. Mike. So, um, Adam, like we said, we said Adam has to be some kind of sociopath or something like that. He goes and sits in the trial, but everybody is peeping that he's now friends with the Baxter door. Mm -hmm. And Judge Michael was like, That's that's oh, first time, yeah, that's first time he saw freak. it too. Yeah, <laughs> you mean to tell me this is your friend? And so he's all thrown off. And then you have Jimmy looking at the judge like, uh -huh. I got you. Yeah, I, I know. got you. But now that we're hearing, that's what the evidence was, was the 911 tape of um, Rocco when he was taking his last breaths and trying to, you know, gasp for air and get help. We have Adam sitting there and had to run out. But the mama, but that's the mama, she ran also out. ran out yeah. of the court too. And that dead going Adam hit that <laughs> inhaler. And when he hit that inhaler, Jimmy and the mama was like, like So immediately they, they knew who was on that tape. They yep. knew that it was Adam. And they had the inhaler too. So they remember the inhaler got out of the car. Yep. That killed the son. But at that point, that's when I knew, okay, it's not after, over. after Carlo gets off, this ain't they're over. gonna still try to do something to Adam. Yep. So now, all this some went over, you know, them blew over, and the daughter don't invite Adam to the hotel because they having a celebration of this getting off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, really, getting off of murder. <laughs> so now they having this big celebration and whatnot. Jimmy calls Judge Michael on that phone and pretty much told him, saying, your son about to come over here. Oh, he by, oh he here now. Uh huh. Maybe he can breathe. Maybe he, he can't, can't breathe. breathe. <laughs> you know what not. So Judge Michael immediately was like, "Let me get in my car and get over there to the hotel." He boxed in. Yeah. But he a runner, so he <laughs> ran all the way there. But he can't get in. They got it so that the guards was like, "Don't you let him in. This is a closed private event." Adam is in there just mingling and mingling, and yep. Jimmy walks over to him and gives him the Godfather hug. And I said, yeah. And Judge Michael's outside the window like, Adam, Adam, Adam. <laughs> he can't get in. Back over there, we see Eugene because yeah. when Kofi, I mean, Lord, when um, Carlo got off of killing Kofi, yeah. Eugene looked at him like, I, he, I he got had you. murder in his eyes. Like, you know what? The system ain't got to take care of this, but I'm going to do this skit yeah. myself. Yeah, it is. That's bad, though. That is bad. That is bad. But before I go there, let's talk about Uncle Charlie. Uncle Charlie, he one of them people that you love to hate and you hate love. But Uncle Charlie told Nancy because Nancy was about to blow up the spot for everybody. Yep. Uncle Charlie said, listen, I'm about to be mayor. I can scratch your back way better than you can scratch your own. Listen, if you can hold off for a couple of weeks, we can clean this city up. We got a whole bunch of crooked cops. I can do a sweep of the system and take you with them mm -hmm. and sweep you and flush you out with them. Yep. Or you can be, or you can be saved. <laughs> Choice is yours. Yeah. Nancy was like, why would you do this to me? He said, I'm not doing this mm, to, to you. you. I'm, I'm doing, doing this, this for you. you. So now we have a closed lip Nancy. We got a closed but, lip Lee. But look at the loyalty of the friendship with Charlie, though. So even though Judge... That's too loyal. Yeah. Even though Judge freaking had him to destroy a car that, you know, was a part of a murder, he still was willing to help his friend. Do we have... Do we make friends like that anymore? I don't want to make friends like that. I think our friends are like that. They are. I did. They're, they're, they're just that dope, man. They're hot about it. Yeah. So when Charlie did that, I was like, wow, because he could have actually let Judge get swallowed up, you know, at this point. I would have let... See, here's how I am. I'm with you. Or oh, unless he was scared that Judge was going to bring his name up, too, because, you know, he did, you know, set up Kofi to, to take the car, so... He did. I don't know. Yeah. So maybe he was covering his own A, too. But here's my thing. <laughs> If I'm helping you do dirt, I need you to be 100% honest with me. Yeah, I need to know I everything. need to know what I'm getting myself into. Exactly. And that's what I felt like the judge was wrong with. Be like, why would you do that to your friend? Yeah. Like, really, why would you do that to your friend? Loyal friend. Good friend. And then your friend still look. 
Still look out for you. I didn't. I, <laughs> still I wouldn't put that. But anyhow. <laughs> so when Eugene, y'all um forgot that Eugene was able to get money from that baseball that was sold. Yeah. So Lee had handed him the check and she was like, you know what? Do something with it. Do something good no, with it. No, she had him cash. Oh, yeah, the cash. Yeah, she she was cash. like, do something with it. Do something good with it because I know I that I failed you. I told you that at the end of the day, justice was going to be served. And you was going to be able to and testify. You, and, and this didn't happen. I'm disgusted. Take the money. Do what you need to do. He took the money and he went and bought a gun. Mm-hmm. And at first, I thought he actually was going to get a hit put out on him. Yeah, that's what I thought uh -uh. too. Yeah. Uh-uh. Eugene got a gun gun. No, he said, I'm going to be the hit man. Eugene is on his way out there to the Baxter Hotel. I said, oh, Carlos, you about to get mm -hmm. it. You hear what I say? I said, you about to be pushing up some flowers. So Eugene is walking down the sidewalk on the Baxter Hotel and realized that Judge Michael is being hemmed up by the guards. Which gave him an opportunity to just run, slide run right, on right on in the door. I said, uh-huh. He gets back there where the kitchen at and all that. I said, oh, I see that your whole kitchen staff is black. Oh, racist model buckle. <laughs> <laughs> I said, they should fix you. But anyway. So, uh, why is spam risk? Yeah. Get, get them calls all the time, All man. day long. All the time. So, I was like, um, little Eugene, you need to get you a chef's coat or something. Like, blend yeah. in a little bit. Because you look real suspicious right now. <laughs> Next thing we know, we saw that well, what we looked to have a clear shot at Carlos Baxter. He pulls that gun out, and if, like my husband said, if you don't know nothing about guns, mm -hmm. if you don't have that tight, what they call it, the tight lemon squeeze, yeah. where it's it's steady and slow. Yeah, well, you won't, you won't. Yeah, the that recoil. Yeah, the recoil. Took that gun and went that way, mm -hmm. and bow shot. Adam in the I neck. I was not expecting it for the end. I actually thought he was going to shoot Carlo. I really did. I actually, I or actually the daddy. Want, yeah, I really wanted him to shoot Carlo. I really <laughs> did. <laughs> I really did. So you got Judge Michael on the outside looking through the window, see his son get shot. Yeah. And I was like, God darn it. I said, God darn, Judge, the very thing you were trying to protect. He did anyway. Still end up getting killed. And he died, bled out right there. Back's yep. the daughter losing her freaking mind. Yep. We got Eugene that just don't ran off. Yeah, because I don't even think nobody saw him. I did it? Did they see him? Well, they're gonna look it, at them tapes and they're gonna see it. Cause <laughs> ain't no way they ain't got no security up in there. Yeah. And it went off so, like that. Yeah, so so Eugene actually really shot the person who started all this stuff. He, without knowing. Without knowing, he probably he shot, started all he this. He got stuff. the real person. But yep. now I was like, okay, this can this can be finalized as a show. But if it comes back, yeah, it will be very interesting. Cause at this point, I think if they came back, I think Judge Michael will become very ruthless against the Baxters now. Because at this point, he don't got nothing to lose. And they really, in good conscience, they can't. Even I mean, go he well, Judge, but Judge ain't got nothing to lose. No, not now. Cause he ain't got nothing to protect but himself now. So the Baxters still got Carlo. Yeah, still got and still got the daughter, so the judge might seek revenge. On the daughter. Even though, well, well, even though, you know, he didn't do it, the Baxter didn't kill Adam, but they put him in a position to get killed. By and being like at the I hotel. Said, they was going to do it. They were going to kill him. Yeah, and I was like, Judge Michael, in good conscience, can you even go after Eugene? All yeah. of this stuff in motion got his yeah. entire family killed. And that went back like I was telling you. It's, it's just so, it's just... About decisions, man. You know, I know Judge had no idea that the decision that when he was getting ready to turn Adam in and went in that jail and saw the Baxters and decided, no, I need to protect my son from the Baxters because the corrupt system, you know, allowed, you know, big organization like that to just run the whole cities and that he had to make that decision and turn down to all this. That's crazy, man. It was. You never know what's on the other side of your decision, man. You don't. Yeah. It is always a trickle-down effect. Yeah. I said, darn. One thing got all of these people wrapped up into it. Yup. And at the end of the day, <laughs> so, I guess, so I guess the life lessons here, be careful about the decisions that you make, man. <laughs> and don't take, look. They could cost you a whole lot. Uh-huh. And if your friends tell you to do something, you may make sure you got all the facts. Dang, but I, I, I do you feel sorry for Judge though? I feel sorry for Judge because really at the end of the day, his son is the only thing he had left. 
Mm-hmm. So he did what he needed to do Try to, to preserve yeah. what he loved. And for a parent to do that, I can... And I it's, can, it's, it's nothing I yeah, can... Ba- I it, can't say anything bad about yeah. how a parent... Yeah, I, I try yeah. to put myself in the shoes. If, right. if I was getting ready to turn my son in, and I know there was a big drug organization that was here in Richmond, and I know if I turn my son in, I know they're coming after us. What decision I will make. And that's bad that we have a system that can't protect you from that. Yeah. That you have to make a decision like that. Yeah. So that's why I feel sorry for him on that point. But yeah. Yeah. Because um, I probably might have did the same thing. Yeah. Because if I was in that position as a child. So what y'all think? Y'all feel, feel so good that my parent would do that. You know, especially, we don't have any kids. So that's going to be a good question for y'all. If that was your son or your daughter that did a hit and run. And you found the person that did hit and run was the freaking head of the cartel in your city. <laughs> would you still would allow you turn them? Man? Yeah, would you still turn them in? Or would you do what the judge did? Yep. All, All right, right, y'all. Thank you once again. Thank y'all for rocking with us straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty oh, yeah. And we will be back. Tomorrow for Queen's, either tomorrow or Wednesday. We're not going to say tomorrow because I, I don't remember what time Queen's Sugar comes on. 10 o'clock. Yeah, so it might be probably coming out on Wednesday because it'll be too late. Yeah. But it's Queen Sugar will be coming. Yeah. Don't forget to rate the video. Thumbs up it, or thumbs down. Don't and don't forget to subscribe, man. Straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up. Two, two, two down. down. Holla. Holla. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>